Hello folks, this is Ayatana Jha from InspireToRise.com and today we are going to do a full gaming review of the Ficom Energy 653 smartphone. So guys, let's begin. Now we will start off this gaming session with a light game like Crossy Road and let us just begin this session. So playing a small game like Crossy Road on this device isn't that great of a task as it has 1GB of RAM and it has a decent processor and we are able to play this game with ease and only in the heavy games that we will get to know that whether this smartphone really does lag a lot or not. So we are done with Crossy Road and now it's time to move to a little better game like Beach Buggy Blitz. So we have begun with Beach Buggy Blitz. And there is a little amount of lag while playing this game as is visible. So it's fine, the overall experience does feel a little bit okay, but still this game is showing some signs of lags here and there. So let us just move to an even heavier game to see how does it impact the overall gaming performance. So it's time for Dead Trigger 2. Till now the temperature on the device hasn't been that much. But now when we have started playing such a heavy game, we would get to know as to how much will the overall heating would be. What the hell is this? So the game is still going on right now. And we have We have switched on to the weapon and killed almost I'm everyone. Great. I've been stuck here for ages. And now the device feels like heating up a little bit. So let us just check the temperature at this point. So the temperature at this point is 34 degree here, 33, 37 degree here, 36, 35, 33 here, 33 here, 32. So different temperature on different points. And now let us just start it. So we have killed all of these people and let us just move forward and we will see how well does it how well are we able to kill those people this game is a little bit heavier than the previous games but still it's running fine on this smartphone as we have more than two gigabytes of free storage here and there so let us just move on to an even heavier game to see whether this smartphone really does heat up or not. So it's time that we move to an even heavier game like Injustice. So we have started up with Injustice right now and let us just play. And this is one of the games that is somewhat taxing on the GPU as well as the internal overall performance of the device. So while playing this game, you will get to know how good this device performs. So 
the graphics are not on the highest possible settings because this device does not officially support this game and it's able to run this game even on low settings that's a really great thing so this show goes on to show that you can almost play any game on this device despite of the fact that it's one of the cheapest budget 4G devices so we just knocked out one of the people that was green lantern and in case you have watched the latest season of flash it's really amazing do check it out the game is also decent enough so while playing this we feel a little bit heat on the back but still only after playing it for 5 or 6 minutes or so that we would be able to tell as to how much heat already has been generated and how much does it actually heat up so victory another victory for flash and let us just move forward with the another match and then we would see after how much time does this smartphone really heat up so right now what is the temperature it's time for a temperature check and right now it is 33 here 34 here 35 36 maximum 36.8 38 39 so at some parts of the device on the top the maximum temperature reached around 39 and the bottom is really cool enough as compared to that only the top edges are really heating up because maybe that's the point where the cpu is and let us just begin another fight and after this we will test the overall performance as well as the heating up again so let us just start with another fight flash versus flash so got hit really bad so i guess it's time for a character change arrow versus flash much better now nightwing came up So Harley Quinn versus Arrow. So the match is still going on and the device does feel a little bit heated up right now. So we knocked out Flash with Luthor. And we will knock out Harley Quinn too it seems. Harley Quinn has also been knocked out. And only Nightwing is remaining right now. And let's see how much Batman has trained him. So I guess training didn't work out well. Batman, you need to work more on your training. We defeated Nightwing, so let us just move on. And this is the final time that we will check the temperature. So 41, 41 on the top, 38. That was the maximum, 40. 37, 39, 40. 41 is the maximum temperature that we could reach. And at the maximum temperature of 41 degrees Celsius, we were able to play almost every game on the smartphone. The Ficom Energy 653, a very nice budget 4G smartphone for those people who are just starting out on their 4G smartphone journey. So guys, this was all for our gaming review as well as heating test for the Ficom Energy 653. If you like this video, then don't forget to hit like on this video and do subscribe to our channel. This is Aitanaj Jha from Inspiratorize.com. Signing off folks, stay inspired to rise.